Happy Thursday, everyone. So we're here tonight at the Blackpool Promenade to have a look at the Blackpool Illuminations for, in my case, the first time ever. I've never actually been through the whole Illuminations. Me, Claire, Sophia Frere tried to a couple of weeks ago when we took our last visit to Blackpool. And it's also possibly the last night of 2020 for these Illuminations. So it was kind of now or never. Because right now, it's Wednesday, the 4th of November, 2020. We're on the verge of going into the second national lockdown here in the UK on the stroke of midnight, or to be technical, one minute past midnight on the 5th of November. We're in lockdown again, so the only things that are going to remain open are schools and essential shops. And because of that, the powers that be have decided that the Blackpool lights, the, the illuminations, are going to be switched off. The first time they've been forced to switch off since 1939, which was almost a hundred years ago. And that was because of the Second World War breaking out. the car it's not actually that cold to be honest so the illuminations start down that end somewhere around the stargate uh, tram station we're going to walk up a little bit further to the pleasure beach and probably get back in the car drive a little bit further along i did originally plan on walking the entire length but it's about 6.3 miles and well to be honest it's been a long day it's 11 p.m now i don't really fancy that of course we're just outside the pleasure beach i don't think you can see it but there's the big one just up there there's the Boulevard Hotel in the corner and there's the big blue next to it. Just going to take a little walk along. That looks like the Boulevard. If you look inside the windows there, everything's uh, white sheets everywhere, which tells me that it's probably not open right now. I'm not too sure what hospitality is like in, uh, in tier three as Blackpool was before we go into the proper national lockdown tomorrow. Uh, well, we've got some SpongeBob illuminations. There goes a the bus. Shame the big one's not lit up because you can probably just about see it through the through the camera. Just gonna have a look a little look at these Nickelodeon land uh, illuminations. So some SpongeBob characters. So here's the sandcastle opposite the pleasure beach, which we've still still not been to. Sophia keeps bugging me. We've got the Velvet Coaster just up there, quite a popular bar. And of course, we've got the entrance to the Pleasure Beach. And just outside the Pleasure Beach, we've got this Bring On The Light uh, slogan on one of the illuminations. And hopefully in four weeks time, it'll all be turned back on. So just outside the Velvet Coaster, Weatherspoons, we have the Beaverbrook Jewelers uh, sign. And as we walk a little bit further along, just near the Viking Hotel and the Queen's Hotel, there's some Beaverbrook Jewelers diamonds on show, which is nice. And you can still see the tower over there, which of course is still gonna be lit up uh, throughout lockdown. And as we walk a little bit further along, there's the sea over there. We might take a look at that in a minute. We've got this thing called Cubbies. I mean, that to me looks like Curious George. I don't think it is. He's called Bugaloo, apparently, according to the sign. And then up there, we've got someone called Aurora. Not to be confused with Princess Aurora, of course. And there's Puddles 
and scorch. So I'm a terrible tour guide. I've got no idea what Cubbies actually is. A few dancing girls over here. So just along Central Pier now, of course, you can see the tower behind me. We've also got the sea life just over there. Might not have known about cubbies, but I do know about these guys. You might just be able to see it in the background. We've got a sweep, we've got a panda called Sue, and more importantly than that, the main man. We've got Sue just above me. So just over there, we've got Madame Tussauds, which we went to not too long ago. You can find uh, a vlog of that in the channel. Over there, we've got Central Pier, where the big Ferris wheel is. Again, we've got another good POV from that with some nice views over Blackpool seafront over the promenade and going this way we've got the tower so the tower is going to be lit up throughout lockdown and we're going to keep making our way up to Bispam if anyone watching this actually does know who Cubbies is or what Cubbies is let me know because I'm quite intrigued so we've got Coral Island just over there the last time we tried to walk through the illuminations or drive through the illuminations we went to coral islands again check that vlog out on our channel there's some crown jewels lighting the way and just pretty much next door to madame two swords we have some lights for the nhs of course who of course have done a fantastic job this year as they always do but especially this year in 2020 tower now just next door to Harry Ramsdom's it looks fantastic I'm really pleased that they've kept the the tower lit or they will be keeping the tower lit throughout lockdown keeping that heart there this is awesome this right in the middle of the roundabout just a little bit further along from the North Pier this is great Coming up to a nice little area for the Blackpool Circus. And we do have a vlog on this channel of our day out, which we uploaded about two or three weeks ago. So go check it out and go check out the show as well when you can do. Uh, but we're going up to Bispam now, where I think the most, the best ones are really, I think the most entertaining ones are up here. So here we have Sweep and City and there's a video of City and Sweep over there. Richard, I'm guessing, who is he? Is he Matthew's brother? Because I used to watch it when it was Matthew. And then we've got Sue. Yeah, this is what I came for. I'm not quite sure what that over there is in aid of. It's a spooky look, looking uh, Halloween style hotel. And, uh, and some sort of haunted tree. Sesame, there's so much. There are some sound effects coming out of some of these as well. These are good ones. Walk. We'll keep walking along, definitely. These are the fun ones down here, nearer to Bispam. So it's about quarter to 12 now. These are all going to be turned off in a second, so we're just going to have one last look. I'm going to go through. See what's around, we've got Noddy over here. Mad Hatter's tea party. Basil brush. Awesome. So Mad Hatter, so not only can you just look at them and they look good and they look nice and they're something to look at as you're driving around but they've got sound effects they've got noises yeah these are great i only wish i didn't leave it to the last night to actually come and see them so we've got some dedication up here to the pleasure beach
Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the Blackpool Zoo, the Blackpool Tower, the buses on the side there. Really, we've still got a long way to go. So these are closed at the moment, but there's a few donation boxes along here where, well, kind of scattered about actually along the promenade, where you can donate if you want to. So we've got some Hawaiian girls over there in their grass skirts. Blackpool Rocks. So you know these illuminations, they've got music as well. It's not just, like I said earlier on, it's not just something to look like. They've got sound effects, they've got music. They look great. There's C. We got SpongeBob. And Dora the Explorer. And way over there, there's the tower. making our way up to the coral island. I'm not sure what you would call it actually. Exhibit? I'm not sure. And there we go, this is the coral island. So much, so good aren't they? The pirate ship's moving up and down, it's working perfectly. Such a shame to just turn this off. You know what, this reminds me of It's a Small World over at Disney. Mums and dads and little teddy bears. And then a bit of advertising for the Queen's mansions. Some seesaws there with bears on. I love Blackpool t-shirt and a Blackpool football club t-shirt as well. So this would be the end or the start perhaps of the illuminations as this is where Bispam train station is. So we're also coming up to 12 o'clock now. It's actually 11.59. So at 12 o'clock, this is supposed to just turn off. So let's see if it does. Oh, and look at that, probably about 30 seconds past midnight, it just shut down. Everything stopped, someone pulled the plug. Wow, that was amazing. Literally about one minute ago, if that, this was moving, this was alive, full of joy. Wow. Lights off Blackpool. Man, see, you've had your lights turned off. And even this, what was playing the music earlier on, I, I wasn't sure if it was illuminations or just a normal advertising board, but that's gone as well. It's been about 90 years since these lights outside of their schedule were forced to shut down, to turn off. Kind of glad that I was here to see it. It's just one of those things where you can say, I was there when that happened. Hopefully they're only gonna be turned off for four weeks while we're in lockdown, then come back on, of course. And uh, they were set to, I think, officially finish in January, which is two months uh, longer than what it usually runs for. I think it normally turns off middle of November. I don't know about the exact date, but it was set to run till January. So hopefully after these four weeks, they're gonna continue. Just driving along the promenade now, going back up to the tower from Bispam, completely different street now. It's just, it's just completely changed on me. Um, so I can only imagine how people from Blackpool walk up and down these streets every day and must be feeling, must imagine they're a little bit sad right about now. Blackpool Tower remains strong. Look how pretty it looks. Illuminations. They're done for the time being. So is this vlog. Until next time, let's chip.